Hello. How are you today? It's Robin Taylor coming to you from uh, Sacramento, just south of Sacramento. And I have with me today my dear friend, Antoinette Joy. And Hello. Antoinette, where are you coming from today? I am from Roseville, California. Whoop, whoop. She's just on the other side of Sacramento for me. So um, I am really excited that we have a guest today. And I wanted to take a few minutes to ask Antoinette some questions for our Hot Topic workshop for this Tuesday night. And um, Antoinette is somebody who is participating in our eight-week challenge. So, so happy she's here with us doing that. And she's seeing great results and um, loving the program. So I wanted to ask her a few questions. So number one, Antoinette, can you tell us just a little bit about what you do? So people get an idea of like your lifestyle and who you are. Sure. So I do this all day. <laughs> so I do virtual trainings. I used to do trainings in classrooms. Now I get to do it uh, over the computer. And I do leadership trainings and all kinds of stuff, analytical stuff, writing stuff. But my passion is when I get to do the leadership trainings. Uh, my background is human resources. So consulting, coaching, I'm doing a talent management class right now with UC Davis Continuing Education, and this is what I do. Awesome. So you are busy, busy. I know that outside of COVID, Antoinette is somebody who is on the road a lot. I hear from her at different times in one week, and she's in Southern California, and then she's in Arizona, and then she's over here and there. So super busy lifestyle. And with that said, I want to ask you, um, so now I know that um, right now your Zen journey with us is kind of your second round of really diving in. Um, a couple years ago, you, you joined me on a Zen challenge. And tell me just briefly what that was like a couple years ago. Uh, so a couple of years ago, I was very motivated. There was lots going on and I was actually taking a break from my career. So I was very focused on self-care and uh, it worked out well. So not only did I was doing Zen, I was doing meditation, I was walking, like I had the whole self-care thing going. And then uh, I went back to work. <laughs> so <laughs> life changed, it got busy again. Uh, the typical stresses came back in. And I slowly fell out of the self-care and back into normal routine. And a couple of years later, we're now here. And I thought, now that I stare at myself all day long in these silly Zoom calls, um, it became more and more obvious that it was time to go back to the self-care again. Because uh, I don't want to keep looking at myself. You, you brought up a really good point. I never thought about that. Yeah, with the Zoom environment. And now I think... It just as human beings, we get so busy, and when it's out of sight, out of mind, that is how a lot of people just life happens, and we're not paying yep. that close attention. So I remember um, a couple of years ago when you did, then um, you lost like forty pounds, right? Yeah, I was doing multiple things. Then was definitely one of them. But yeah, yeah. I, at that time I went down yeah. forty. The pounds. whole thing. Well, just I think. It um, really highlights to it when we say self care, yeah, that is the category that it is. It, but believe me, it's not selfish, it is necessary. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's a big thing that people skip or put to the side quickly because other things start piling on, and then we just shove ourselves in the corner. And then voila, here we are feeling ways that we don't want to feel. And I 100% know how that goes. So um, anyway, so glad you're back because you, you know that this is a program that works. So now tell me, what week are you on now? I've got two more days of my shape pills. So that means I'm on week you're, six. You're finishing up Ignite phase. So yeah, you're just wrapping up your fourth week. Okay. So yeah, that's, uh, or fifth. Yeah, fifth. you're right. Fifth yeah. Week. Yeah. Yeah, one week of detox and then four weeks of Ignite. So that takes you through your shape pills. Good job. Keep yep. it trying. And how's it going this time? How are you doing? I'm doing well, happy to say. So yeah, I'm getting results again and I'm feeling better. 
and I, um, I will say I have more energy and the program works really well because of my schedule. So I can easily do the shakes and I can incorporate it into my day because I literally am on camera most of the day. Uh, but I've been able to make it work and the, um, yeah, taking the, yeah, it's just all, it's just been very consistent, very easy. And it's easy also, I think, because I don't have a lot of other distractions. So I'm able to focus on it. And I made that commitment to myself. For me, that's what I know is once I make the commitment that, yes, I'm going to do this, then I'm good to go. That's um, a big thing, right? The mindset. Yeah. 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 That's the, the, one of the four, um, I, we're even talking about helping um, elevate our coaching by having kind of a precursor step of really helping people with the mindset first before they start the program. And it doesn't have to be a huge, you know, camp retreat, anything like that, but just making people become more aware of, okay, we're going to switch this flip on and now we're going to do that. And I know for me recently, um, I made a little mindset change just of walking. Now my food's been pretty dialed in for a long time, but my exercise part has not for a variety of reasons, doesn't matter. I told myself, okay, my birthday's coming up in December and I'm gonna walk every day for 30 minutes or now ride a bike. I did a bike yesterday because that was more comfortable. Um, anyway, exercise 30 minutes a day, every day for till my birthday. And once I said I'm gonna do it, now I do it and I make sure it happens. And speaking of which, you're joining me on that, right? I am, I am. So what I would say about all of that, I think, uh, and I can, I guess, speak for myself, but um, also with the leadership training I do, I, you have to have a why. You have to have an authentic why. And I think it has to be more than I just want to lose a couple pounds and have a number. I think it needs to be more, I think it needs to be deeper than that as to why am I going to commit to this? What, do, what am I looking forward to? And what does that end result look like? And if you can envision that, I think that helps you get through the harder days. And oh, so I love that. Me, yes. Uh, it really was. I was like many of us just frustrated with the current life that we're living. I'm a big traveler. I love traveling. And so uh, during the slow time, which is July and August, June, July, August um, is when I travel and I don't have, I'm not teaching consistently and I couldn't do that this year. And instead, I was just developing classes and hanging out in my house. And then when I did teach, I was looking at myself and not loving it. And I was frustrated. I was getting just kind of frustrated and irritated by lots of things going on. And so not only was this, yeah, I need to lose weight, uh, but it was also, I need to feel better. And I don't want to keep, because I'm going to be doing virtual training at least through June. And my guess is this is probably going to be a forever thing. Way. Wow. Okay. Um, and I'm not happy about it. I don't love doing virtual training. I want to be in the classroom. But regardless, I had to get to the point of accepting, yeah, I'm going to be doing this till June and I'm not going to feel like this and look like this uh, until June because I've done, I've done this for a couple of months and it's not good. I don't like it. And so just knowing that I'm going to feel better and look better um, is more is a why and big bigger than, you know, maybe what the numbers on the scale say is I needed something that I could control and that I could make myself feel better about because I couldn't go traveling and I couldn't change my work environment and um, lots of things I couldn't do, but this was something I could do. And so my why is, like I said, bigger than just numbers. And I think that's what keeps me going. Congratulations. Yeah. One that you, that you recognize that and that's helping you tie you to, um, what you're doing. And I 100%, um, agree with the, this is something that we ourselves can make the decision to do and feel like you have a small win every day because you're, who knows what's going on outside of your body, outside of your house, with your kids' school, with your work schedule, with whatever else is so wonky right now but if you know i'm in control of drinking my water eating on plan at the end of the day there really is you feel empowered and uh like you have some type of control there so 
Yep. That's really awesome. That's so awesome. How can, do you mind sharing how much you've lost so far? I mean, uh, we talked about the numbers, but um, I know the measuring part's not your fave. So what's the, num <laughs> how are you doing with the numbers? Uh, so I am just a hair under 15 pounds. Oh point. my gosh, that's awesome. Congratulations. So, thank you. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So um, thank you. And thank you for, for sharing the bigger picture, the most important part to help people stay connected. So you mentioned your schedule and that you're finding this really easy to keep in your schedule. Is that because you're a really structured person and you love to follow, be told what to do and follow plans or how no. kind of adjustment has this been for you? Yeah. So I hate structure. That's why Robin asked that question. She knows this. I hate structure. I hate being told what to do. I hate coloring in the lines. Uh, those are all the opposite of who I am. That's why she's so fun to hang out with. She always <laughs> takes me in new places. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's also why this whole pandemic, stay in your house and don't go anywhere, has not been uh, a very good fit for me. So I had to adjust. And that's been empowering for me too, is just saying, all right, I've got a schedule. I'm going to figure this out because I don't like that. Um, so I have to use, I have to write stuff down every time I get through my bottle of water, which is equivalent to, this is 12 ounces. I have to, I don't have it right here. I've got a little notepad. I have to write it down. Um, I put on my timer every two and a half hours so I can take my special pill 30 minutes beforehand, and then I have to do another 30 minutes. And if I don't have those tools, um, I would not be successful because I am just, I'm not, I don't want to say, I'm not like flighty or anything, but I'm not stuck to, you know, unless I put things in place to keep me in the box, um, I will not be in the box. So that's been an adjustment. But for me, I think why it works is what, what you said about empowerment is this is something else it's a challenge and not only and then i get to see progress throughout the day also so when i look at my do my little tick marks for my water I'm like okay i'm halfway there and this is where i was yesterday i know you are not supposed to weigh yourself um every day but again i don't like to follow the rules so <laughs> i do <laughs> and so being able to see that progress and i've got my little notepad and um all of that just keeps it um keeps it fun and interesting because if things aren't fun, that's also something that I usually don't stick with. So I need to find ways to keep it fun and interesting. And I'm playing a game with myself, right? Am I going to drink as much water as I did last time? And you know, how am I doing with my numbers? And I kind of make it a, a game and a competition with myself. So I have to have a fun factor in there somewhere. And I like that. And how are you having fun in the kitchen with it then? Because I know um, that cooking's not your favorite thing. No, I don't do that either. <laughs> You'd be like, what does this lady do? Um, so yeah, so cooking's not my thing. So, and that's also, that's been a plus for this program because two of my meals is a shake. Like I can do that, that's, I got that down. Um, and then, you know, you can make your meals as simple and easy or as, you know, more complex as you would like. And so initially, yeah, I'm doing simple, easy, pretty, you know, basic stuff. Um, but what's cool about this time, I will say, versus last time is with all the sites and everything you all are doing, there are so many more recipes and creative ideas. And so if and when I feel like it, occasionally I might try to make something. And so again, that's also a fun factor. I haven't made the hummus yet, but I do still want to make the hummus. And um, so that's been fun is, you know, when I feel like it and I want to do something a little bit more, I can. And if I don't feel like it, I can just pull out my hard boiled eggs and my banana and my peanut butter and call it a day. So there's See, lots of options. This is so, so great because we're hearing from kind of two different people, although I'm not really sharing much. You kind of know the way that I work and um, I am a foodie. So I love all that stuff about the kitchen. And, and it works for me and I don't have to write stuff down just because that's the way my mind works, but it works for me. Antoinette is different, but it works for her and she's enjoying it and she's making it fun. And the most important thing is the why, why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. And you figure out how it works for you 
bottom line is we all know that the Zen program works. It's just how you fiddle it with it for yourself. And um, I have to say, I'm super proud of you, Antoinette, because every now and then I get a message from her and she asks about a certain food or a label. Can I have this? How much? Or a recipe or something. I'm always like, yay, she's in the kitchen, or yay, she's trying something new. So I totally, totally love that. So um, last question, well, actually, I have two questions left. Number one, I want to address breakfast, because from what I remember, and by the way, where's your Zen cup? You won a Zen cup last week. I know, it's still at <laughs> Anthony's house. Oh. <laughs> I know, I've got the wrong, I know. And yeah. Anthony's boyfriend lives kind of in between our houses, so I had to drop something off at her, his porch the other day. She won. She was a winner of our challenge last week. Anyway, we digress. So breakfast, I know in the past you used to skip breakfast, didn't do that whole thing. And how has that meal made a difference in your schedule and your day? I don't know. I don't, I don't really think about it because it's, you know, it's in my little notebook that I, I have to do it. It's probably, just get up and do it. the way you are, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't really, I don't really think about it. I will say if I'm running late or, you know, cause I do have this really big commute from the bedroom to the living room. <laughs> so if I'm, if there's traffic and I'm running late, um, I will do the shake first off, um, rather than, you know, eating the meal, um, so again, I like that there's, there's flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't even think about mm -hmm. it. So I, that's not a very good answer. There. Yeah. No. Well, it, it is good because before, um, so it's just part of your, it's part of your, you don't question it. You don't, it's mm -hmm. just part of your schedule now. So, and mm -hmm. that's the way it should be because it's better for you to have breakfast. So cool. And last thing, any, advice you would have for somebody who's wondering if this is a good idea um what what would you say to a, a new person starting mm -hmm. or considering to start yeah so um since i don't like to be told what to do i don't like to tell others what to do necessarily but my suggestion would be uh try it right and see what happens if you like it awesome if you don't then you do something different um, but I'm all about exploring and discovering and part of my journey the last three years um, has been my philosophy has been just say yes. So whatever has come my way, I've just said yes. And that has led to a ch awesome career change. It led me to Uganda, Africa. Um, it has provided lots of cool things in my life just by saying yes. And so that's what I would say is just say yes. And worst case scenario, you end up with some really good protein powder um, that tastes good. And I would not, I would not do this if I couldn't t eat and drink the stuff. So mm -hmm. you've got a cool chocolate shake and vanilla shake that your kids would probably even, you know, take. So worst case scenario, you've got healthy products that you know you just don't use consistently um, because the rest of it is normal. It's just it's regular food. So it's just learning how to eat and the portions and when to eat. And so there's not much of a downside. So give it a shot. Nice. Say yes and see what happens. Nice. Let nice. Know. Yay. I love that. And Antoinette was sharing a story with me before we got on camera that a couple weekends ago she went on a girls weekend trip. And I loved hearing about how she planned ahead. She brought provisions. She brought her meals and she gave herself permission on the girls weekend to not stay on plan the whole time and did you beat yourself up when you got home because you didn't stay on plan the whole time nope. no no nope. that you... was that was the plan the plan was to go off plan yeah and so and i was very clear to myself about why and i had very good reasons for myself and i thought i had great ideas <laughs> so uh yeah it worked out because i was doing the goal and again it's your why so why was I going on the girls trip? It was for mental sanity and I needed to get out of this place and do something different and be with different people. And yeah, we were going down the river on tubes. We're going to have some <laughs> drinks and uh, that's okay. <laughs> 
and people made, brought, you know, homemade cookies and some really yummy food. Well, I wouldn't have been able to embrace the whole reason why I was going had I limited myself on some of those other fun things. Because again, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it worked out. I knew I was what I was going to do. I brought food. And so, you know, throughout the weekend, um, I did stay on plan. And Sunday morning, I was back on plan. But Friday night through Saturday night, I had fun. And when I got home and within a couple of days, I had bounced back and that's cool because you have to live your life. And otherwise, I know for myself, I would have just been grumpy and frustrated and the whole point of, you know, decompressing probably would have gone the other way. And then I would have been mad at this program and I probably would have stopped. Yeah. So. Good, good point. Yeah. Zen is not about deprivation. Zen is about learning how to use food to meet meet our goals so yeah perfect 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 all right my dear well thank you so much okay. for sharing thank you for being part of our community yes. and i would just want to add before we get off today all of our menopause weight busters all of our zen tribe i want to thank you for watching and remind you that um we have put out a new four week belly fat blast program, um, a little shorter time frame for people if they want to, if you would like to hop in, give it a shot, see if this is something that's gonna be the answer to getting you closer to your why and help you meet your goals. Um, talk to Tina, talk to Mel, talk to me, and we'll get you set up and get you going on that so that you too can um, experience Part of what Antoinette has been able to experience. And Just say uh, yes. Just say yes. Say and yes. I love that. Yay. Thank you. All right, Antoinette. Thank you All so right. much. You're Have welcome. Okay. Bye.